welcome to the second episode of the Revelation series. Things have been rather busy here lately, as I've shown on a previous video with this conversion and the restoration of a fireplace. So we may hopefully in a short while be able to do fireside chats as it were. But for now, it's just a little tea light in a glass jar to look at. So I don't know how you all feel individually. Certainly astrologically, things are looking very positive. And I hope that you are feeling that. But of course, with retrogrades and things and various planetary mo movements and things, depending on your star sign and where different planets are placed in different houses will affect how you're affected. So it is worth, if you know your time and date of birth and things, to maybe familiarise yourself with yourself. After all, this, it, it, this is very much a reality of getting to know yourself and... Uh, one of losing fear, undoing the system, limiting belief systems, and so and such like. To help with that, and particularly I feel as we're now in December, the darkest month, as it were, of the year, December and January, with less light in the external world, of course. So I'm offering a light for anybody wishing to accept. That is mentoring. I can only, of course, speak from personal experience of things, but I feel it always helps to communicate with others, get different perspectives, and in turn be able to offer different perspectives. Ultimately, it is to unlock what is actually inside of you. This reality will do all it can to convince you you are just a physical body. It's this literal materialist outlook. But of course, that is so easy to disprove. For example, with your five external senses, are you aware of radio waves, television signals, um, Wi-Fi signal. Without the right device, of course, they go undetected, they're passing through you, and yet without the right equipment, you cannot detect them. That is equally so about this experience from birth to death that we call life. And you have all the tools inside you, but it's whether you can unlock them inside yourself. This, so what is called, often called awake, an awakening experience, is really just learning a language, a language that is internal, a language where you learn to listen to what your body is communicating to you, what your heart is communicating to you, and what your gut feeling is communicating to you. There is such a thing called truth. You only have to look at the etymology of that to see what is right in the middle of those five characters, those five letters. It is you. That is you and I, all of us. There are many stories that have passed into mythology and Many things that are fascinating and many will strive to prove or disprove or give interpretations on things. So what actually is the truth? That is something that you will only know through experience, through what resonates with you. Go with the gut feeling on everything. That by far, is your best guide. It doesn't matter what the external world 
is presenting or what others are saying to you. Stay true to self. You are, after all, and it is described this way, that the human body is a vessel. You have to have a physical body in which to operate in a material realm. It is just a vehicle that you actually carry about. But it allows you to go through this human experience. But it's unlocking that communication with inside oneself that is critical. And that is what I am offering. Now there are many out there who will charge, and in some ways you could say rightly so, rather substantial amounts of money. And maybe they have quite a good track record, quite a few successes. But I'm working on the other end. I don't need much in the material sense, so I am not charging extra exorbitant prices. This is more reciprocal exchange. So I'm setting a base figure of just five euros. And it is entirely up to you how much you wish to communicate. I would suggest a once a week chat. It could be done through WhatsApp or through Telegram or even Messenger. But you set the pace that suits you. This is the thing. I'm not here to tell you what's right or what's wrong or what you should or shouldn't do. I'm here to be a listener, an observer, and from what you tell me, perhaps I can give you another perspective or change or offer you a change of perspective so things don't feel so bad. Because certainly when you go through this process of spiritual awakening, it can be very daunting, it, it's not very pleasant, and you, it gets to the point well, you wonder what it's all about and how can you navigate your way through it. So I can offer a personal perspective. Like everybody else's personal perspective, it will be unique. But I feel that there may be some bits and pieces that may spark something in you because it all comes from within you. I can only help to guide if you so wish. But it's entirely up to you, <coughs> excuse me, what you do with the information. It's implied that we have free will, but that's debatable because it would seem to be from birth to death is a A to B to go through and you will be given various presentations which is ultimately you're encouraged to pick a side but of course there is a middle path where you can stay neutral to it all. You'll see things ex that are expressed in the external that back this up so if we take taking the middle path being neutral to things just consider which countries superficially would appear to be neutral and how prosperous they are. I, straight away, you could say like Luxembourg, Liechtenstein, uh, Switzerland, Sweden, Monaco. That's in the material sense, but this is in the spiritual sense. And as you go through the process, it becomes this amazing and fantastic journey that, that I know there's many that will say, I don't want to come back here. But it comes to a point when, and I'm speaking from personal experience, a feeling of gratitude for all that is and the world I find myself in. And it's like, maybe I'll go round again because... The greatest pleasure is being able to 
go through experiences which then allow to be able to pass on those experiences in the hope that it helps lift another out of maybe the fear, out of the dark shadow times of your life. It's a stage that anybody who's started to walk on this spiritual path will go through at one point or another and it isn't pleasant. It can be absolutely awful and there are times where you may feel like, oh, I just want to give up. But what keeps me going through this is, would I want to do it all again? I've come this far, would it not be better to keep going? Rather than throw away all the experiences that have been gained. And because up to the age of seven, when you come back into this reality, into a new body, young children don't come from this conscious mind. They're still operating at the very subconscious level and still have a certain amount of memory or potentially have a certain amount of memory of previous lives. But of course, that is squashed out of most people. Um, and it's, then you have to go through this process of unlearning everything and then starting again, scraping away the layers. So if we think of it in terms of like an artist, you're taking off all the paint, scraping it all off, so you have a blank canvas in which to start again. And from my experience going through this journey, it's just, yes, there's been some rather... Um, fearful moments but if you're able to sort of pull yourself out of your body as it were at, and just stop yourself and just think hang on I'm a presence in the present this moment will pass they're like as Lana A. Labonte says see, see situations and presentations like clouds they just pass some of them may be dark clouds and would appear to be bringing adverse weather. But then they can pass by. There may be a cloud that is white or it may just open up to beautiful blue skies and sunshine. I would suggest that see the world as a stage. And as such, every interaction that you have with that external world is basically a script that is being presented to you. This is where the discernment comes in as to whether you wish to take that script and play a, play a part or would you rather hold out and be discerning and, and find a star role to play i.e. you are writing your own script it is not being written for you. After all, at the end of the day, you are what should really be in control of yourself. But the external will do everything to try and derail you. Your lower conscious will try and pull you away from things. It's like, no, I'm not meditating. That's too much hard work. I'd rather watch this on television or something. But consider what really benefits you ultimately. The lower conscious mind is basically like a child that does not like change. But again, look at the external. Nature is about seasons. It's about continuous change. Not for the, for the material business sense that, that is called fashion. That just changes on a whim with an agenda of making a profit. But change is part of a natural cycle. And it is... A beautiful thing to see what is presented in nature that is reflected back. This realm is all about reflection. I have speculated before. Interesting, the word speculate, like spectacular. It's like an eye spec, things that you see. So imagine, if you will, take the, if we're looking down upon the earth, just 
I want you to picture something like a Gleason map. We use that one. It doesn't matter what you use. But the North Pole, consider that as a pupil of an eye and the land areas being like the iris on an eyeball. It is looking out. Now, I've speculated before that the firmament or the dome and the stars that you see may just be like floaters on an eye. So this earth eye that is looking out is looking at something that is reflected that we would call stars, which I have suggested is not unlike a computer hole punch card on those old computers. So the lights will go through certain holes and it will give instructions and there you have astrology basically. It is a beautifully organized, self-replenishing, living bio-computer that is in many ways holographic, it is a simulation. Whatever words I try and use you'll find are totally inadequate because we're in a realm of duality and in this realm of duality you can look at something and you can compare it to something else. But we do not have this luxury from being in this reality, in this earth. So there is no word that adequately describes exactly what this reality is as such. Words actually fall down, but at the same time words can be very useful, like the word truth. You'll see the U is right in the middle of it, as I said previously. So just to recap again, anybody would like some a chat, would like some sort of help to get through what may seem like hell to you, some difficult times, then you are, I, I'm, I offer an invitation for anybody that maybe I can just open a door for you to show you that things aren't as bad as they would first appear. This realm is very much about getting everybody to react, which is going to come from the more animalistic side of man, which is another part of your constitution. But it is, comes back to that saying about getting over oneself. By that it, it is basically handing over the controls to the higher self, rather than letting the lower self that is very fearful of the change running the show. It's like a, a dog that has not been trained. You've got to keep it on a short leash because it, want, it will want to pull you off in all types of directions, just like um, an untrained dog on a lead. It, it, it wants to go to that tree or it wants to go over there and, it's, and you've got to pull it back in. So maybe... I, I'd be in a position where I might be the right person to help you. Who knows? Um, the invitation is there that for those that wish to take up the um, offer. So I think we'll leave that there, and um, hopefully I hear from you. But it matters not if you don't. Um, I'd rather do the one-to-one -one chatting so I can give my full attention rather than to groups and things. There are plenty of uh, people who offer group things and whatever. But just go with what feels right to you is what I would suggest. So I hope that has helped and give you, new, you another option to help you find yourself. That ultimately is what this is all about. <laughs>